Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. We're going to play this game called Mork Red. This is on the Xbox Series X. Looked like an interesting, kind of weird, abstract game. So I was like, alright, let's check this out. So you play with two different characters. You could play local co-op, I believe. But if you play by yourself, you, you control each character using one of the analog sticks. It has this weird, like, black and white, I guess, Tim burton -y, gothic type of look. Um... And uh, we're gonna play just a, a teeny tad bit today for you guys to see. This came out probably a couple of weeks ago. I'm just now barely getting to it. Better late than never, right? So <laughs> let's go ahead and we're gonna get right to it. So you see, these are the two characters in the game. And uh, we're about to kind of wake them up. And uh, you have to stay in the light of this game. Like if you get in the dark, you die. So you just kind of, you just kind of control, see like the right analog stick controls that character, the left controls that one, and that that's pretty much it. You, uh, you just kind of watch where you go. Make sure you really don't get out of the light. If you do, you die. Uh, I, I, I assume the best way to play this is with somebody, um, you know, playing co-op with you. But, you know, it's still playable single player. And since I like to cover stuff that nobody else really talks about, uh, that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> so we're going to play this just a tad bit one more. Oh, my one character stopped moving. What, what went on? Did you see that? My character wasn't moving anymore. That was weird. My character started like... I don't know if it was because of something I did. I have no clue. Uh, let's just try to keep up. For whatever reason, my character stopped moving, which was interesting, I guess. Are these shadow people, by the way? <laughs> They look like, uh, shadow people. Now, I don't know. Did I hit something? Did, did something happen to my character just st st stop cooperating with me? I am, I'm honestly not sure. Was it a glitch? We made it to a checkpoint. So we're good on this regard. Let's push LB, RB, and let's continue forward. So you can see there, there, it looks like there's going to be light puzzle elements as well, eventually in this game. Matter of fact, here we go. It looks like there'll be a series of switches and stuff that you gotta push. Looks like your character's my, okay. Looks like eventually your characters might eventually need some help. Um, what's going on here? I have no idea. Whoa! Whoa. What the hell? It gets confusing because you're using both sides of your... If it makes any sense, you're using both directions at the same time. And it takes your brain a second when you're looking at something and you're controlling something else. When you're controlling two different things at once, it definitely uses a fair amount of brain power. It's it's obviously harder than it than it looks. You know, you're controlling two different things independently. There we go. Okay, so we switched it. I had to switch the characters from left to right because they're facing the camera now. So it makes it easier for the one on the left to be at the left stick. Because if you do it this way, it's opposites of which when when you were going the other way. If that makes sense. If that makes sense, it's opposite of what was going on. So now that we're coming towards, I had to switch. And now I have to switch. You see that? 
So I switched them back from left to right. Just to make it a little bit easier on me. Alright. Now we're going to switch it again. And... Where to now? <laughs> it's, it's a really weird game. Honestly, typically I wouldn't play something like this. But again, like I said, I like to cover stuff. For the channel that some people might not cover, I haven't seen anybody talk about this game. So that's why I do what I do, guys. Alright, here we go. Whoa, oh, come on. What the hell's going on here? Whoa, okay, it's tricking me. There we go. All right. Interesting. Wow, look at this. I love the art style. Just check this out. Holy cow. Looks like we're going down deep. That's a lot of stairs. <laughs> Oof, okay. I love that sound effect for the checkpoints, by the way. So satisfying. Alright, what's this? First puzzle? Major puzzle? Interesting. Are we going to roll a ball now? Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh man, you touch one little part of the black shadow, you die. You gotta just stick together. You see that? This is hard. <laughs> this is very hard to control. Maybe just I'll walk off to the side. We'll do this slowly. See, I'm getting... I'm getting turned around. The left guy was the right guy, and the right guy was the left guy. There we go. I got the checkpoint I needed. What's this? I think we could just let it roll for a little bit. <laughs> Shit. You see that? Just one little mistake that you make. And that's all it takes, man. Just one teeny weeny eeny weeny teeny weeny little shriveled short short man. Okay, we gotta. Looks like we gotta. Shh! Oh, God, it's so frustrating. <laughs> I was right, right there. Okay, we gotta do this slowly. We gotta take it nice and slow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, we gotta we gotta do this a lot slower, guys. Let's switch them. And come up that way. All right.
We just gotta pace ourselves. And we gotta switch. There we go. We gotta make sure we switch the the characters out, the sides. Whoa, is that fucking slug? Can that slug kill me? We're gonna find out. Yep. <laughs> the slug can kill you. Alright, so... I'm thinking... Oh, great. I'm thinking we gotta go back. Yeah, here we go. Of course, you touch any kind of little shadow. Okay, let's... Oh my gosh, you gotta remember everything. Anyways, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna rage quit. I can see the potential here as far as like a puzzler goes. It has a unique vibe. A unique graphic style. I like it. This month, this would be fun with somebody else. So I need to get co-op on this. But I appreciate you guys for watching as always. Thanks a lot.